What's going on guys? Shane here. We're going to be doing a full body dynamic warm up. This is the warm up that you're going to do, the stretches you're going to do before a workout. Alright, this is the exact routine I do. It's going to be in real time, so do it with me. Here we go. To start, for 30 seconds we're doing a warrior lunge. Alright, so it's just an alternating lunge, but your arms are going straight up to the sky. So you are stretching the abs a little bit too when you do that. So now we're stretching the hips, we're stretching all the muscles in the legs, warming them up. Alright, we are halfway there. We've got 15 seconds to go. All right, make sure your knee doesn't go past your toe here. All right, if it is, then you got to take a bigger step, a deeper step out. Keep going. We've got five, four, three seconds, two, one. And from here, we're going to widen up our stance. We're going to do a side lunge. Toes are facing outward. We're just going one side, coming up, going to the other side. All right, so a wide stance. This way, we're going to hit the groin, and then we're going to hit the glutes and the other muscles in the leg as well. All right, we've got 15 seconds to go. Going to the right, coming up, and then we're going back to the left. Ten more seconds. Stretching all the muscles in the legs. Here we go. we got five, four, three, two, one. From here, we're just going to do regular squat. I'm going to stand to the side. Watch. So feet are about shoulder width apart. Sitting all the way down. Back is straight and up. Put your hands on your shoulders. Put your hands on top of your head. Whatever's comfortable for you. Straight out. Some people will do upper body, then lower body. Or they'll hit big muscles, then small muscles. What I like to do is work all the muscles in the legs, and then from there I'll move up. Good. Keep going. From here we got five seconds, and then we're just going to do calf raises. Three, two, one. Good. So feet closer together. You're just going up on the toes. That's all I'm doing. All right. Straight up to the toes and back down, hitting the calf muscles. Easy. All right. You got to work all the muscles, though. All right. Sometimes you won't be able to go down in a full squat because you can't. Because your calves are tight. You're going to be using your calves a lot if you're a fighter, if you're an athlete. So you want to make sure that they're warm. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And good. Hands on the hips. Now we're going to stretch the abs as we come back. We're going to hit the obliques as we go to either side. And the lower back as we come forward. Just rolling the hips. Big hip rotations here. All the way back. All the way to the side. All the way down. Remember, with all of these stretches, you're breathing the whole time. All right, let's switch directions other way. All the way down, all the way back. Good, keep going. Got three seconds, two, one. Good, from here. Feet are close together, hands on the hips still, and we're just gonna do good mornings, these are called. Back is completely straight. All I'm doing is coming straight forward all the way down to a 90 degree angle, and I'm coming back up. All the way down, all the way up. All right, you'll feel this in your lower back, and you'll feel this in your hamstrings. If you have to, you can bend your knees a little bit, but try to keep your legs relatively straight when you do these. Back straight, leg straight. 90 degree bend, and back up. We got five seconds, and let's do one more. And good. From here, I'm going to drop down. We're going to do T push up. So watch. I'm going to go all the way down into my push up, come up into a side plank, arm up to the ceiling. I go back down for a push up, and then I switch, other side, arm up to the ceiling, up to the sky, up and back down. Some people hate push-ups. If you have to do them on your knees, that's fine. We're doing this more as a warm-up. All right. Remember that. We got eight seconds. Down to five, four, three. Let's get one more. And good. From here, we're standing it up. From here, I like to just do arm circles. Big arm circles backwards. Exaggerated movements. Working those shoulders. Moving to the upper body. We just hit the chest with the push-ups, the back. All right, and now we're going to switch. Let's go forward now. Same thing. Arm circles forward. Keep going, keep going. We got six, five, four seconds, three, two, one. From here, we're going to do cross jacks. Arms crisscross, legs crisscross, and out. In, out, in, out. This is full body just to get the heart rate up, get the blood flowing, blood pumping throughout the body. All right cross jacks and it's going to be working the calves the shoulders a little bit we keep going keep going we got eight seconds almost there five four three two one and from here let's go with a reach out to one side come back and then we're going the other way all the way out just feel it right up in the obliques up the side all right reaching out and then coming back the other way. Big reach all the way up. Stretch out there. Stretch out there. 
Keep going. Down to 10 more seconds. All right, reaching out. Reaching out. We got five seconds. All the way out. Let's get one more in there. And good. From here, we're going to do uh, work in the neck. So looking out to your left, chin's right over your left shoulder, dropping it down and over to the right. Dropping back down to the left. So we're not going backwards just yet. We're just going out to the side, straight down, and to the other side. Down and back to the other side. All right, keep going. Stretching the neck. All right, you're going to be doing a lot of big movements in your workouts. So you want to make sure that everything, including the neck, is stretched. We've got three, two, one. From here, we'll just do big yeses. All the way back, all the way down. All the way back, all the way down. Another thing you can do, too, is you go back. Howl at the moon, and you'll stretch the neck and your jaw. Great for fighters. Building up jaw strength. 15 seconds. Down and back up. Down, back up. Down, back up. Down, and back up. Good, guys. So that's, like I said, that's a full body workout that you can do. So with all these stretches that we're going to be talking about, you're going to do them for 30 seconds each twice. Okay? Before you go into your static stretches, you need to make sure that your muscles are warm. So you're going to do a dynamic warm-up, all right? You're not going to go into doing these cold because you may pull something, okay? So make sure you're nice and warm. Take a hot shower, something like that. First one is a hip stretch, a deep lunge, dragging that knee behind, leaning forward so you can stretch your hip flexors right in there, keep your chest up. All right, next is a groin stretch. These are really going to help with high roundhouse kicks. Nice and controlled. Get that height for the head kick, okay? All of it, a lot of it is groin. If you can lift your knee up high enough, then that means you have groin flexibility. If you can't do a full straddle, then you work your way up to it. You do what you can, then you scoot your butt in, you scoot your hips forward, and you do it again. Hamstring stretch is very important too. Make sure your knees are flat when you're doing this, all right? You have to have to keep your knees flat. Next is the lower back stretch, okay? Bring your knee over, take the opposite arm, and push away. What is this gonna help? A lot of different things, one of which is the Muay Thai clinch and being able to twist your hips and throw more knee strikes, all right? A lot of lower back pain happens to fighters, it's because they're not doing their stretches, all right? Make sure you have good core strength and you're limbered up. All right, next is a shoulder stretch. All right, this is one of my favorites, very challenging. And this is just the ability to throw punches, to, you know, throw crazy elbow strikes and stuff like this. You want to be flexible, you want to be agile. You don't want any tension in your, in your shoulders. This is one that's very challenging too. Uh, one side more than the other, you notice, is usually tighter. So practice and do this daily.